those jobs. Looking at the water supply, there's that's uh, that's just the hose hose pipe um, for the water supply. It's just it's just poking in there, so it doesn't go anywhere. So I've got a pull ball valve on here, which I've I've just got with an adapter to 15 mil plastic on it. So hopefully that screws in there. Which it looks like it does, and it's tapered as well, which is good. Um, put some PTFE on that, um, and then, then it's quite a scary moment. Um, putting some water in that tank. Obviously, well not obviously, so I entry supply just that tank. Um, I presume it was pressure tested. I'd like to think it was. Uh, but for us, it's the first time it's had any water in it, which is just a little tiny bit scary. So I'm putting plenty of VTFE on there. Uh, and I've wound it the wrong way. I always do that. Because the last thing you want is a, a leak at your water tank. I've seen it many, many times on boats where that uh, that just drips away for years and years and years. It's rots the bottom out of the, well, certainly the woodwork and stuff. So, so yeah, I'm putting plenty of PTFE on. Uh, I have got the pump. I'll show you that in a second. It's, um, it's a whale pump. That doesn't require an accumulator, it says on the tin. Big spanners in the van. It would be very nice if I could get another turn on that. Right, before I put any water in it, I think the safe thing to do is to turn that off. So right, I've gone and put some water in and uh, whew, <laughs> hope for the best. I've been looking for this work light everywhere. I could swear. It was in a, um, I left this on a boat down in Sharpness. I was looking under the steel work for, for everything. I've just come to put, to put this water pipe in and here it is. My long lost water light, my water light, my long lost work light. That's good, so I do like that. It's, um, it's magnetic as well, so it sticks under engine bays quite easy. Right, back to the task in hand. As well, it should lower that bow down. Um, with that water tank full in there. Right, while that's filling, um, this is the the pump that supplies fresh water around the boat. It's a um, it's a whale pump. I do. Oops, dropped it. And again, I do think whale is uh, quality stuff. So. Um, that's the pump, it comes with a filter. So to keep all the debris uh, from getting into the pump, not the other way around. So that's the way in. So that just uh, pops straight in there. So what I'm wondering, see, 
that just clips straight in. So let's see how that fits. So I reckon a short piece of pipe in there, this pipe will obviously, I'll have to move that and then put a, oh, you can't see that, um, a couple of elbows on to get into here. So that, that, that's, that's probably my um, neatest option. This is a bit close for where the, the step will come. I may have to eat a little bit out of the back of the step. Um, let's just see if there's any water in there. There is, so water's at least up to the top of this um, fitting here. So at the moment, all, it's all, um, all dry. Let's just take a look inside again. No visible sign of any water there. Dry. Let's hope it stays that way. Right, so there we have the inlet. Uh, ball valve pushing fit in through the filter to prevent any debris getting into the pump. And then I've just got to figure out how to pipe up the outlet. I think there's enough room under that pump to get that pipe under which means just a couple of elbows and I'll sort of be in. Right, I'll put a couple of clips on there, just to support that, and I've got to screw that body down as well. Let me see that. Yeah, I've just got to screw that pump down. When you know it, I've got a bloody cold as well. Ah, <laughs> oh, never mind. Carry on regardless. So if I'm a bit sniffly, I do apologise. I'm just grooming those feet now, just to uh, secure the pump. Cables to sit under there. And these are me. Uh, where are they? Here's the cables for the. Here's the cables for the pump there. So I've just got to put some connectors on there. To hold those in. What I have got to do now is make sure I've got all those cold water pipes blanked <laughs> before I even attempt to put that pump on. Uh, yeah, there'll be some obviously shower kitchen, uh, bathroom, toilet, engine room, loads of stuff. So 
I think I marked them all though, so fingers crossed that shouldn't be too bad. Ah, we'll see. Right, this nest. I keep saying right, right. Right, <laughs> I've done it again. Okay, so uh, that's where our chlorophyll is gonna go in that tray. Ah, cold feed. I was hoping I'd mark them. Uh, hot water. So this one must be uh, very long. This one here. Ah, so this one over here. feed so what I'm gonna do is just <clears throat> I'm just gonna put one of these in line with it just to uh, just to connect those together that's all uh, so to the other side to the shower. So there's two hot waters there. Cold in, cold out. That sounds about right. So I need to install that battery charger properly as well, along with a million other things. But hey ho, let's crack on. So here's the supply or the input for the pump. I can get it. Black and a red. I don't know if you can see that. Black and a red with two spade connectors on it. And here is my supply. These are signal cables, they run all the way down the boat. happily connect the black that's the black connected but I'm leaving the red disconnected for now because when I switch that on I don't want the pump to start I want to be here when that's there when that's running so right I've got to go and find those cables at the back Let's see if I can switch that on so they, these are my cables for me the water pump so i'm just quickly going to connect up to one of these breakers uh water pump i might well use that one <laughs> i'll check the size of that but i'll use that one i think and we can see if that pump or the pipe work holds pressure <laughs> scary right this should just blip this it does Oops. Missing insert.
Because some of you guys may have spotted, he's doing that wrong. Putting the 15 mil pipe into the pump. Yeah, I've realized that. A bit of water on the floor, there was. But anyway, um, I found the fitting that goes with those pumps. So those pumps have a special fitting. Um, those whale pumps. And that clicks into the pump itself and the filter plugs into the other side. Let me show you that. So the filter plugs straight in, but I was putting a 15 mil pipe into there and it didn't seal it at all. So turns out this goes in there and that's why it says two clicks because there's two ridges on there. So what I have to do, what I have to do is put one of these tap connectors on here that goes down to 15 mil and then that clicks in there. Which just caused me a bit of an issue because now I've <coughs> now I've cut my pipe <coughs> and that's longer. <clears throat> and I don't really want to uh, disturb this because this is quite nice and neat to straight in. So I'm gonna have to put a coupler on there, I think. And oh, I've got some 15 mil taps. Yes, yeah, so I've got some of these 15 mils, and actually, probably a good idea by accident. If you've got, I've got an isolation tap coming in from the tank, but by putting a tap here, if I ever want to change that pump, it's all that all that line's full of water. So if I want to change that pump, then I can isolate the water in the pipe work as well. So actually, that's a really good idea. I wish, yeah. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll pop that in as well. Fun's very nice uh, ply work top. <laughs> Still holding up. Yeah, a bit while before we can change that. But right, I've just uh, just nailed that tap in. Not literally nailed, but you get the idea. Um, and obviously comes down in the cupboard next to it. Can you see that? Yeah, there it is. Uh, so I'm just breaking through to the under sink bit where I can put a tap connector and uh, connect our cold water up. That'd be very exciting. Go on then. So I've come back today. And I have a tap. Does it work? Oh, no way. I have running water. No way. Any cold. Sorry. It's better than nothing. Don't, don't complain or I'll turn it off. <laughs> but it's better than nothing. So just for those, uh, remember I, earlier on in the video I said about those pumps don't need a um, accumulator. If you look at the flow, It is pretty. It is pretty constant. You don't have that pulsing you have with some of the other pumps, and it is fairly quiet as well. So, yeah. um, can you just uh, switch that on? Oh, excuse me, five finger death punch. You never listen here. There's just a gap here. I've got to build a step. Do you want to try and switch that on? Yes, yeah, so that's pretty quiet. That is. That's all right. Some of them are really loud. But uh, yeah, happy with that. Uh, oh, I'm okay. Good. She sends me to do that anyway, so I don't know what she's on. I do not. I do do it. At, I do do it sometimes. I have to when you are here. <laughs> yeah, that's it. There you go. When I'm not here. So anyway, um, for the UK guys, uh, I hope you have a great Jubilee weekend. Uh, that's what we fully intend to do. It's uh, Thursday mid afternoon, is it? Yeah. And I've been to work today. I've been to, work, I've been to work today as well, only for a few hours I've only each. Been to work. Only for a few yeah, hours each. A few hours. Got the taps all connected, so that's another big, big step forward. And uh, now we're going to enjoy the weekend. We're going to enjoy the weekend now. So this video is probably a little bit shorter, but um, yeah, uh, we're going to, we're going to, um, we didn't see all the tall ships coming up the Gloucester Sharpness Canal today, but lots of our friends did. So we're going to incorporate all that. Um, and the um, the ship that I forgot the name of it, but the ship that was used in the oh, Pirates of the, the Caribbean, Caribbean, that was one of them today, uh, Thursday. So that came up the canal today with a few others. So we'll put some footage on now. So it's a bit of a short weekend, a short video, just because we're knackered and we just want we're just gonna have a few days downtime. Notice we've got another another addition to the family. Of this family. There you go. Um, another addition to the family. That, all of that 
is uh, dangerous. But anyway, yeah. Um, she gets over the weekend. You've already got <coughs> that on the run. Medicinal. Medi I've, been, I've, been, I've, I've had a cold. Saying. Typical. Every time I say you go another room, he says. <coughs> if you put some rum up there, I am going to drink it. But anyway, well, only with coke. Food. But uh, not only with coke. I'll, anyway, forget it. So um, yeah, that's us for a very short, uh, very short one this week. We're waiting for our mattress to come. That should be here well, next be week, nice. which will be bloody nice. Although I'm sort of getting used to, I'm sort of getting used to sleeping on those um, dinette. dinette cushions now. Yeah. So, I'm sleeping, I don't want to get out of bed in the morning. So uh, I think that might be someone else actually. It's just a shattered. shattered. So uh, yes, stay, <coughs> excuse me, uh, not COVID, I've tested myself. Um, yes, stay, stay, stay tuned if that's the right word. And we put some footage on of the, all the tall ships coming up the Gloucester, Gloucester Sharpness Canal for the Tall Ships Festival in Gloucester. Yeah. That gets really busy in the centre, but seeing all the ships come up and we'll probably try and see them coming back down uh, next week maybe but that's, that's really cool to see all those ships coming up and what was on the Gloucester Sharpness Canal back in the day that's what they, that's what they were yeah so thanks for watching yes it's a short one have a great jubilee weekend yeah don't drink too much that's the advice I'm giving not taking um <laughs> Bit of a dampener. Uh, okay, we share quite a lot with you guys. Uh, my, uh, my, our, my, our granddaughter, my granddaughter's quite poorly in hospital at the moment. She's just been moved up to the Birmingham, Birmingham Children's Birmingham. Hospital. Yeah. So that that's that sort of put us all on a bit of a. We've had tears and all sorts this week. Yeah. Um, pull not it no, no, pull it, yeah, pull it, Lemley. Um, only one and a half. Yeah. Um, it's just been, you know, and then my daughter Jess and Dan have been going through the ringer with that so uh, yeah I know Emily's not watching but you know I mean if we could do something that just made Emily come home it would be fantastic um, it's not it's it's serious enough she's got um, I forgot what it's called it's called uh, I keep forgetting what it is but it's a uh, there's a bone inside the inner ear that's got infected and literally her ears come, I mean her head's out here, It's she must have been in so much pain, poor thing. But they're taking her up to the... Um, she had a scan and she's been on IV. Yeah, all and... that, she's been on loads of IVs, pulls them out, they put another one in, poor little thing. But uh, yeah, we th we're thinking about every five seconds, it's like crazy. But uh, yeah, if, if that's, that's all we want. That'd yeah. be a nice present for the weekend, but uh, they are probably gonna operate next uh, in next the next week. day or two. I, I don't know when. But uh, yes, okay, so yeah, all the best to Emily. She's not watching, but uh, what do you say? You've got to say it somehow. Um, and anyway, we'll see you next weekend. Have a great weekend, everybody. Yep. Um, getting all emotional. Have a great weekend and stay tuned for the tour ships and just imagine you're a pirate. Mm, oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> see you next time, guys. See ya. Please subscribe. Yes, please subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. See, see ya. See you later. Bye.